not allowed to do that job. And yeah, you're elected by the people in your district. In my district. But as being a constable in that district, I can go anywhere in my county. That's correct. What did you say you could do? Excuse me. What could you? What can you do, or what are you wanting to do? I can do? basically do anything Mr. Roberts can do, pretty much. I can serve subpoenas. I can uh, write citations, uh, rest warrants. So the reason you're not doing it now is because you don't have any insurance. I can still do the serve the papers and all that, but I have to be approved by them to run the blue lights to do the job of writing citations. Well, why would you want to write, uh, run the blue light? Because it's part of the job. To arrest somebody? I mean, if somebody's got, say you're driving down the road, you got a warrant, what am I going to do about it? If I can't stop it. Could you have like a road check or something like that? No.
uh, that is issued for the likely cost and repair of that road in order for it to have any teeth to it. Otherwise, um, you're just going to be chasing your tail trying to know what the cost is based upon the linear feet. And the wheel. Okay, so it just say it's X dollars and you need a corporate surety and they have to go to an insurance agency up the street and, and get a uh, corporate bond that is secured by an insurance company. Bond uh, oh, I, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, otherwise, I don't see when you end up uh, with a piece of paper that says, I, yeah, I'll pay you X. I and mean, then you got to. You gotta go chase them down. I'd rather not chase those people down. I'd rather just go to an insurance company and say, okay, you owe us $58,000. You said the bonds were gone? Well, that was, just, that was uh, in Jefferson County. But if we go this route, I'm gonna take and, and go further into it. I wanna see what the bond cost is gonna be, actually. And get right down to it. You know, one mile, three mile, five mile, or whatever you have to travel, I'd like to see what, what, what the cost is. Because if it's way up there, I don't think the people, I don't think the report, our local lawyers are well done. Put a lot of them out of business. You know, and that's, I'm not for that. I'm not going to put nobody out of business. We need more business. You know, and I, I know the roads, you know, this is a uh, no win situation. Put a lot of people up there. But I will take, I will take and go to the insurance companies and I'll look, check on, I'll check on the lawsuit and that for what. Okay. What is the probable cause for the, Asphalt road a mile. So the resurfacing? Yeah. It's $80,000. $80,000 per mile. Which okay. might be up to 90 now. I could just keep going up to it. Okay. And that's about an inch and a half through the surface. Yeah. Okay. What I was told you to have been, and just checking into it roughly, uh, you can figure about $100 for every 10000 So you're looking probably roughly ballpark. $800. $800. $900. A mile. You know, per mile. I mean, and there's other ways. I mean, I guess, you know, uh, somebody could go. I mean, I, I use that as a, there's other securities that people could offer. They could go to the bank and get a uh, letter of credit. Um, they could, uh, you know, post some other security, be it a bank account or for I mean, some kind of form of either cash bond. But it, it's easier, I think, just to buy a corporate bond. But yeah, I mean, I guess they could go to their bank and get a letter of credit. Let me, let me do some checking on this. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll make a motion to take it. I'll take it. Can I ask a question before you do that? Uh, we have a big outfit, a couple of big outfits that are going to be coming in here, um, getting the gas. Uh, they've already, there's already one that's spent $50 million. Uh, what if have you made any preparation about them tearing up the roads when they put those that equipment is that is that going to apply to is that what you're addressing yeah, all here heavy trucks, yeah. no so but well, what the question then is we need to make sure that they pay to tear up what they're going to and not run our local people out of business because they're not that big of of a they don't have that much what money to deal with So they won't be using county roads at all? Okay, thank you. Where you're running into your problem is, is your local uh, people, your construction or whatever, your loggers. Uh, these corporations, these gas companies, what I was told at the insurance when I checked, just roughly checked on them, they've got no problem getting this bond. Like Mike said, they can just make a phone call and they're set up to do it. They can have it that quick. But you take a local construction or logger or ever what, and he's got a problem. He's, he's got a lot of paperwork, a lot of chasing, he's got to have money to back. It's like... Uh, yeah, that's dollars. what I was talking about. Yeah. But, but you can't uh, single the big guy out. Yeah. So let me check. Let's, that's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> we, now we could have also the Lawrence County rate. Right? Three or four until, you, yeah, until you get to the, the beach area. And she needs her place 
I wanted to go through this if with, I could. With okay. Do you all have a copy? Yes. Okay. Uh, I looked at it. Here's the following changes I would make. Uh, you got yours? Uh, okay. You want to mark it up as we go through? Here you go. Okay. Uh, most of them aren't anything of substances. They're just stylistic issues. Okay. Uh, we would delete on the first line county commission. Make that Lawrence County Fiscal Court. I mean, County Commission is more like for West Virginia. Um, on the, where it says witness uh, uh, that the county pursuant to, do you see that on page one? Okay, I would need to see Exhibit A, which would be the plat map, because it says uh, here and after to refer to as the uh, identified mark as Exhibit A. So I need to see that plat map for Exhibit A that would be attached to this. I do have that. You do have that, and it doesn't. It, it would. It would. Uh, that plaque map exhibit A would have to exclude out the beach area. She, she, That's she, already. She showed me that. Okay. I think, I think Katrina has that here somewhere. Okay. Then going over on page uh, two, uh, number one D. Uh, look at the second line. Do you all see one D early termination? The term of this lease, including the aforementioned extended period, may be terminated by, terminated by lessor, that's us, early, in the event that that needs to be changed from lessor to lessee, in the event that lessee, them, has not developed the property by the direction of at least one structure on the premises within five years. So the second line of 1D on page 2, you need to change that to lessee. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is uh, nothing stylistic. I thought that was too lenient. I need to turn that over to the court. I think you're being pretty lenient when you say to somebody, we're going to give you this property free of charge. You don't have to pay any taxes. We're not going to collect any money from you. Oh, and by the way, you got five years to build one building. To me, that's too generous. The county's been way too generous in a lot of these negotiations. I think that you need to be requiring more, maybe three structures or five or six or something, something more than one. Once again, uh, I just point that out. That's up to you all to decide. I have no problem with three. I have no problem. We'll probably do more than three. I have no problem saying Okay. So does the court and, and do you all likewise agree that that would be amended to three structures in five years? Go three instead of one. Huh? Go three instead of one. Yeah. Are you talking about cabins? Yes, I guess. She she would tell you more. We're, having, we're, going, we're planning to build cabins and to build uh, picnic areas and a walking trail. Uh, also, then, uh, on two consideration, this is page two, uh, the, the county gets nothing out of this other than the building of the buildings if that's what you all want that's fine but uh, i would just point to the fact that maybe there should be some sort of uh, net lease payment in addition to the building or uh, a gross uh, i mean if you're going to be renting them I mean, i'm just pointing that out once again if you say that you don't want any money uh then that's fine for well, me she, it would apply to the tour thing that they'd be paying a percentage Okay. The main thing is to create tourism in our county, bring people into the county and they get us up to do, which is spend money here through gas, food, and everything else. Okay. Right I'm now, a tourism thing. Right now, we do quite a few cabins for this weekend. The county, they're booked. Like on October the 15th, they're booked. I can't even get a cabin out there. I mean, that's kind of going to help bring more people in because we can't get cabins. Well, I mean, I guess my point was that, you know, most places when you uh, lease property to someone with the intention that they're going to build a structure on it, there usually is a net lease or a gross lease where an X amount of a percentage of gross from net profits is then turned back over to the owner of the real estate or the lessor of the real estate in exchange for the giving of the property. But, I mean, I certainly understand the county's not a, a private business. You're not in the business of having to make money. You're in the business of trying to, you know,